Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The first thing that we're going to look at is the Excel environment. And the first thing you should notice about the Excel environment is that it really consists of two windows at once. There's the application window and the workbook window. A workbook is the default spreadsheet object in Excel and it consists of three spreadsheets by default. The workbook window is opened up within the application window. The workbook window is where we can create and modify our spreadsheets. Notice that we could minimize, maximize, or even close the workbook window and still see the application window. Now the application window is the outer frame of the program. It consists of the title bar at the top, the menu bar of various commands that we can use in the program, the status bar way down at the bottom, various toolbars like the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar, and of course the workbook that we're currently working within. In the XP in 2003 versions you also have a new object called the task pane which appears over here at the right. You can turn the task pane on and off by selecting view from the menu bar and rolling down to task pane and giving that a click. You can bring it back by also doing the same thing. Once again click view and then click task pane. Now when you close the application window using the big button, the big red X in the upper right hand corner, it will also prompt you to save any worksheets that you've done work within before closing the entire application. And that is how we close the whole application using the big X in the upper right corner. Or of course you can go to file from the menu bar and scroll all the way down to exit and give that a click to leave. Now the workbook window is inside of the application window. It contains the actual spreadsheets which we do our work on, the scroll bars that we use to navigate around, and it also contains the first spreadsheet, previous spreadsheet, next spreadsheet, and last spreadsheet buttons in the lower left corner of that window. This allows us to have several workbooks open at the same time in Excel in case we need to do something like compare data. So let's examine all of the different items within the Excel environment in a little bit more detail. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.